right now I'm at St. Pete Beach at a beachfront hotel called Trayvon's. It's really fun here, and there's a big beach, there's paddle boating, there's a game room and pools. It's epic. We're in the Gulf of Mexico, and one of the best things here is light sandy beaches and blue green water. The water is crystal clear, and it's so warm, like a fresh piece of toast on a Saturday morning. I really like toast. There's supposed to be a touch tank at the outpost. Time to get out of the water and check it out. Chocolate chip sea stars. These come from the Indo-Pacific. Now these animals have no brain. It doesn't have a brain? Well, then I know a couple chocolate chip sea stars myself. But they have a central nervous system that will transfer information around their body. At the end of each one of their arms, they have an eye. Their eye doesn't see images like yours and mine, but it can tell the difference between light and dark. On the very bottom, they have these water-filled tube feet. That's how they move around. In the center is their mouth. When they eat, they put their stomach on the outside of their body, surround their food, and then digest it on the outside. Pretty weird, huh? Now you can take one finger and rub the arms and the horns here. You can feel, it kind of feels like a mild sandpaper, or maybe a hard plastic. Yeah. Now what I need is a flat open hand up over the water, and then there you go. These are called the green, serpent, brittle sea stars. They have the same characteristics as our other sea stars. The difference is they use their arms to make their way around, not the water filled tube feet can't hold this one but what you can do is you can feel his arm his arm kind of feels like dad hasn't shaved for three days like I say he'll use his arms and muscle contractions to move around the bristles also help him gain traction his center body is very soft now when he goes in upside down watch him he'll flip right back over he knows the difference between up and down when stressed or threatened they will drop an arm or a section of an arm. You can see where this guy has been, and they will grow back. You can see the difference between the dark green and the light green on this, where he's dropped and regrown that arm, arms. Yes. One finger, you can touch the variegated, or it's also called the pin cushion sea urchin, and then there's also our pencil sea urchin. These animals you can find right out here in the Gulf of Mexico. They crawl around on the bottom. In their mouth, they have five plate-like teeth that they'll use to scrape rocks of algae, chew on algae. They'll find dead and decaying matter on the bottom. Um, I, do I have, again, if you look very closely, you can see the little hairs that are coming off of their body. Those are their suction cup feet, and you can see it right here where they've grabbed things and moved it up onto their body. Um, each one of their spines are on their own individual ball joint that helps them move around. Our hermit crab. Everybody's seen a hermit crab. Yeah. This is a soft body crab. This animal does not grow its own shell, has to find it, hence its name hermit crab. Um, he has eight legs, two claws, two eyes on stalks, and two antenna that help him find his food. He'll eat dead and decaying matter on the bottom flat open hand right up over the water and let's see if we can get him to come out here a little bit. You got to remember smaller things get eaten by larger. Flat. So cute. Mm -hmm. You can feel his feet are kind of pokey that helps him climb. Now, our next animal is cool. It's called the horseshoe crab. The horseshoe crab is a species is over 450 million years old. It's older than the dinosaurs. Oh, so tiny, isn't it cute? Now, you can see right here in front, he has three eyes. One, two, three. He is more closely related to a scorpion or a spider. He breathes through his book-like gills on his tail section. His tail, also called a talson, is used to flip himself over as a rudder. It's not for offense or defense. Flat open hand. The fun part about these guys is that their blood is actually blue. He uses copper to transfer his oxygen. We use iron, so our blood is red. Its blood is also highly antibacterial. They're using it for medical research and to calibrate medical equipment. He's so tiny. Mm -hmm. 
And that's why you would never see this guy, because he would just bury himself right into the sand. And all these creatures live right here. So I'm going to hop in the water and see if I can find some. See you later. Subscribe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like us on Facebook.